guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing tips for adding personal touches to your home decor. We will be talking about souvenirs, inherited pieces, and lots of personal touches. I am going to show you around my home, show you which things are souvenirs that you may not realize are. I've added a few new things since our trip. And I'll just give you a lot of ideas. I love the topic of this video and it is something that I get asked about often. So I hope you enjoy it. I wanted to start with souvenirs because this is something I get asked about a lot. And we often think of souvenirs as some brightly colored magnet for our fridge or some plastic statue of some place that we've been or something that may, for lack of a better word, be a little tacky and not look nice with the things that we already have in our home. But you really can add souvenirs and special things to your home that coordinate with your style. And I'm going to show you around to some things that we have in our home that you may not realize are actually souvenirs. I get asked about my terrarium on my breakfast nook table all the time, but it's actually partly a souvenir. So the wooden bowl we got from Mirror Woods in California, and it's redwood, and I just think it's so gorgeous. I didn't want to just leave it in a bin somewhere, so I found a glass that fit in it well, and then I made a terrarium out of it. This seed jar I bought in Arizona from a Native American woman who made it, and I think it's just so gorgeous, but it is a souvenir from our trip, and it just sits here on this table with my plants. This is our powder room, and it actually has quite a few pieces from different trips that we've been on. So the coral is from our recent trip to Maui. I did have a huge piece of coral that was gorgeous and in perfect condition, but they wouldn't let me take it on the airplane. So they were going to put it back on the beach. I guess that's a common thing. The sand dollar my grandma found in Florida and the starfish is from a trip to North Carolina and the driftwood is from the coast of Oregon. So all of those are souvenirs and I just love having them here. John has some coral and shark's teeth in his office. He collects shark's teeth, but a lot of them he purchased while we have been on vacation. Pictures are an excellent way to add personal touches to your home. They can be pictures of your family, your pet, places that you've been, things that you love. If you are really into photography, um, you can have pictures of all kinds of landscaping or you can have pictures of cameras and lenses and different things of that nature. If you're really into bicycling, you can have pictures of all different types of bicycles or whatever it may be just add personality and your home should show what you love when you walk in so personal photos are excellent you can have just a couple of pictures on an entryway table or a nightstand or your end table in the living room or you can go all out and have a gallery wall. I am going to show you the two gallery walls that we have in our home and I'll show you a few pictures that are really meaningful to me that we also have in our home. This is our family photo gallery wall. We have another gallery wall that I'll also show you. This one is in our entryway, as you can see here, and I have a whole video on this, so I'll link it below with different tips, but I just recently added to it because my son Josh graduated from high school this year, so I added some of his senior pictures, and then we took a big family trip, so I added some pictures from our trip as well. And I have pictures from when they were babies, in school, from different trips that we took when they were younger, and just some meaningful pictures to us. This is our other gallery wall, and this is in our dining room. So all of the pictures are from different trips that we've taken, and I really love this gallery wall. I love to take pictures, so this is a great way to display them all. And I chose to print them all in black and white and put them all in white frames. The white frames are different though. And this is just a great memory wall, but also with it being in our dining room, 
I noticed that almost everyone stops and looks at the pictures and tries to guess where each of them were taken. And it really creates great conversation because they ask about our trip and then they talk about places that they've been. So it's just a great wall to have. This picture is on one of our nightstands and this was taken the day my son Josh was born and my family was complete. I love this picture. On the other nightstand we have a picture of John and me and this is when we were dating and it was the first time I went down to meet his grandma so it was a really special picture and this is my whole family and I had that framed we have senior pictures of both of our boys on our end table and then some different pictures in our office, John's office, and they're just great pictures to have. We have pictures all over, but I just wanted to share some meaningful pictures just to give you some ideas. Books are another excellent way to add personal touches to your home. They can be books that you've read if you are a book collector. They can be books on favorite topics that you have, books from your childhood or a few of your favorite books from when you were a kid I think is an excellent way to bring personality to your home. They can be books on a particular subject that you really enjoy. They can be books on a place that you want to visit. Um, so a dream vacation place or a place that you plan to visit soon. Books are also great to decorate with because you can stack them and they can add a little height and dimension in your home decor and also color. They can bring in a little bit of color. So books are an excellent way to add personal touches to your home. Another thing that goes along with books is photo albums. And now you can create photo albums so easily. Um, there are so many different sites where you can just click on the pictures you want in an album and they will make it beautiful and print it out with a cover and everything. That was not available when my kids were little, so we just have regular photo albums and then we have some that were made. So those that were made online I think are beautiful and I have some right on the tray on my ottoman so that people can look at them if they want to or if you have a whole album from a vacation um, you can keep that out and that way you can look at it when you want to but it's also a great thing for your guests to look at. So you have a few minutes when you're in the kitchen and they are sitting in the living room waiting for the meal to be ready. They can take a look at your at your book, at your photo album. Another great way to add a personal touch is through adding quotes or if you like Bible verses, you can do that. I'm a Christian, so we have several different Bible verses around our home. If you have favorite quotes or inspiring quotes or just some things that really represent you, I think that's an excellent way. You can look for a printable with that saying maybe on Etsy. If you're married, you could even have some of the lyrics to your wedding song, or you could take a quote from a book. Maybe if you have children, a quote from a book that they love would be a fun thing to have on their wall in a frame or on their nightstand or something. So you get the idea, but think about different quotes, song lyrics, Bible verses, things that represent you well and that you enjoy. Okay, let's talk about inherited things or special things that you have been given from relatives. I get asked about this a lot. A lot of times it is in a personal message and I know that that can be a little hard and I'm going to talk about that, but first let's talk about things that we love and we've inherited from relatives and we want to display in our home. So one thing that I have is seashells and a sand dollar from my grandma. She lived in Florida and she collected some and she gave me a box of them and they were all in perfect condition. So they are in our bathroom. I also have all of my grandma's recipes and I'm choosing to keep them exactly the way she had them, but framing them is another great idea. 
but I keep these in my pantry and I look at them regularly. We also have some things in storage bins that we just don't want to get broken or we just want to look at sometimes but we don't really need to have out. I have some dishes that I keep right with my other dishes and the biscuit cutter is Sean's grandma's so I make her biscuit recipe and use that. And then we also have this bear which was John's grandpa's. You should never feel obligated to have something out in your home from someone if it isn't something that brings you joy. And even if you inherited it, I know that that can be a touchy subject and I get asked about it, but it's your home and you live there and I think your home should be full of things that you love and you enjoy and never uh, filled with things because of guilt or obligation and I just that's what I think um, so if it's something that you love but maybe you just don't want out on display don't feel bad you can look at it when you want to and you know take the time to look at it and enjoy it but it doesn't necessarily have to be on display if it isn't something that goes well with your decor or it doesn't bring you joy having it on a shelf or out in the open. So that's just my take on it and I do have things from my family out and then I have other things that we keep so that they don't get broken or that we just want to look at when we want to look at them. That leads me to my last point, and that is when thinking about decorating your home and adding personal touches and that your home represents you, be sure to decorate in a way that you love. Use colors that you love, use materials that you love, use texture that you love, use style that you love, and while it's always nice to have things that are stylish and trendy, don't fall into the trap of getting the next thing just because it's on trend. If you like it, if you, if you love that and you want that in your home, then of course, if you have the money to do so, do it. But make sure that your home is a place that you love, colors and style and patterns that you enjoy and the things that are on your tables, on your countertop, on your walls, represent you well. Some of it is going to be things that you purchase from the store and there's nothing wrong with that. I have a mix as you can tell but adding personal touches are just that, personal touches and I hope this video gave you some ideas. I would love to hear in the comments below how you have added personal touches to your home and maybe some ideas that this video gave you. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day.